the track. A suspect now charged, accused of intentionally causing that train to derail. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. And I'm Adam Cooperstein. And tonight, police think this derailment was an act of sabotage and it could impact your morning commute. Debris tossed onto the track, stopped the A train in its tracks in Chelsea at the 14th Street subway stop, crippling subway service in parts of Manhattan. And you can really see the damage to the station, too. Pillars damaged, a track crushed, and part of that train's metal shell sheared off. And new tonight, the person suspected of intentionally causing the derailment was booked on several charges. News 4's Ida Siegel live in Tribeca with the new information on the arrest. And Gilma, the man charged with this train derailment, has a long history with the NYPD. He spent much of the day at the precinct behind me here being questioned by MTA police. Now investigators say he was seen at the 14th Street train station this morning putting debris on the tracks. Under arrest tonight, 30-year-old Demetrius Harvard led away in handcuffs from the transit police station inside the subway. Investigators say he deliberately threw debris onto the subway tracks this morning, and that resulted in a train derailment. Early in the investigation, transit officials knew this was no accident. What it appears to be is um, some form of vandalism or something that was put on the track. The northbound A train came to a screeching halt when it entered the 14th Street station just after 8 Sunday morning. Police say Harvard had thrown construction materials onto the tracks, causing the wheels to skid out of place when they collided, scraping the metal facade off the front car. When it derailed two wheel sets from the lead car, the rail to the west of the running rails, uh, we have significant damage to the train car itself. Three people were hurt, one transported to the hospital for minor injuries. Hundreds of passengers on two separate trains had to be guided off those trains after the power shut down. And many thousands more were inconvenienced when train service was thrown into chaos for much of the day. It's a mess, but uh, there were many strap hangers who were stranded. Uh, it took them three and a half to four hours to get from Queens over here. Charlton D'Souza of Passengers United wonders how a man with 23 prior arrests and who has been seen placing debris in other subway stations was able to access the tracks to begin with. There is something fundamentally wrong with our securities in the subway and we need a police officer at every subway station. Meanwhile, repair crews are racing to get full service up and running for the morning commute. And the MTA now telling us they will have full service going by 5 o'clock in the morning. Meanwhile, Harvard has been charged with reckless endangerment, criminal mischief, and assault and criminal trespass. Reporting live from Tribeca, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Okay, some good news at least there. Ida, thank you.